Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lee J and we're going to do a follow-up video today. So this is a follow-up to the reaction that I did uh, to the Brendan Kavanaugh and the Chinese group. We're going to watch a video clip that I found on YouTube. It's an interaction between Brendan and the group of Chinese people before everything took a complete left turn. Before we begin, make sure to hit the very important buttons right down there. It really helps me grow my YouTube channel. Okay, without further ado, let's watch this video, shall we? So here's Brendan on the left. On the right is, I believe his name is Jim. That's his friend Jim, who also plays the piano. Jim with the beanie on. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this all plays out. Are you from Japan? No, no, no. So she calls over somebody. It sounds like his name is Sun Yang. Is that right? It sounded like she said Sun Yang. Sun Yang? Sun Yang? Oh, that's Adelina. Ooh, and the guy that just walked behind the camera, that was the one that was yelling, the do not touch her. His famous, famous quote, do not touch her. Let's see, let's just go back. Oh, yes, right over there, right over this guy's shoulder. There he is in the left corner there. Look at how smiley and friendly and happy everyone looks. Oh my gosh. I, I mean, I don't want to go down a rabbit hole, like a philosophical rabbit hole, but it is amazing that everything is just so friendly. It's so warm. They're meeting each other for the first time. Um, this is where, you know, everyone's being polite and being nice. And uh, nobody knows that in, you know, X amount of minutes later, the vibe is going to change dramatically. Crazy. My name is Adelina. My name is Adelina. My eyebrows go up when I say my name. Let me know in the comments if you know who is filming this video. Is it I mean, is it the same guy who filmed the live stream? Because the quality is definitely not the same. And yet, I mean, and yet the camera is clearly pointed directly at this group. And it seems like from just the angle that it is the same videographer as the live stream. <laughs> It's going to play some blues. The China man's going to play some blues. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Look at those. Look at her dance moves. Oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so that was the end of the video. Let me, uh, let me find a good place to pause it. It's so interesting to see the sequence of events, how, you know, when they first met, everyone was so friendly, so nice. They're dancing together. The Chinese guy, one of the guys from the Chinese group, sits down, plays the piano. They're all just having a wonderful time. Well, I'm going to put wonderful in quotes. I would say that they are being polite and just being, they're just being nice to each other because the vibe was good. And it definitely makes me wonder what happened for this whole situation to turn south so quickly. 
I did see in one of Brendan Kavanaugh's posts that someone arrives at the scene, that this other person arrives at the scene who could potentially be a Chinese spy or like perhaps an ex-Chinese spy. I have no way of fact checking any of this and I, I honestly do not want to be putting out misinformation. Um, I feel like there's enough misinformation on the internet and uh, yeah, I, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. So I just want to react to what my eyes can see and it seems like there are these two scenarios. One scenario is there is a possible uh, person that arrives at the scene and perhaps she is a spy and then they realize that they're on this live stream and they don't want to be on the live stream. So that's scenario one. The other scenario is this Chinese group is they're out filming their program. They want to use the piano. They they are very friendly with the piano man because they have no idea that he is a YouTuber, that he's got a ton of subscribers. So they're dancing with him, hanging out with him, just, you know, having a good old time. And then they realize that he's not just making a little video for himself. They realize that they are on this live stream that's being posted to over 2 million subscribers. And they have this contractual obligation not to uh, be on any kind of like televised public video. So there are these two scenarios. Now, what is the truth? Honestly, I don't know. I don't want to make an assumption. I don't want to make an accu. I don't want to make an accusation. I do not know all of the facts. If anyone in the comments has more facts related to this whole situation, definitely let us know. I just wanted to share this video and do a reaction to it because I find this whole situation just absolutely mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing that it went from this, right? Everyone's friendly, they're shaking hands, they're dancing, to the yelling to Brendan Kavanaugh being on Piers Morgan and all the messages that he's been getting from YouTube about taking down the live stream. Amazing. I'm shaking my head as I say that. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Let me know what you think about all of this. Do you think that there is a spy in that group or is this just some huge misunderstanding. I've been reading your comments and maybe I'm just unaware and naive and unintelligent and I have no idea what the facts of the case are. I think like most people, I also want to know what the truth is. I do want to add that sometimes the truth is... Hmm, I just want to add that sometimes there is more to the truth than meets the eye. If you have more facts about this case, about the situation, definitely let us know in the comments. Well, on that note, thank you for watching this reaction video. Thank you for spending some time together. If you have any other videos that you want me to check out, definitely let me know in the comments as well. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out and be healthy, be blessed, and until next time. Whoosh.